At the edge of the farmyard, there is a small pond. Beside the pond, a mother duck sat on prey. Crack, crack. <laughs> one by one, the eggs began to open. As he checked, just a fuzzy yellow and cute check. Five little chicks, how lucky for me. Healthy and soft, sweet as can be. Well, how are you getting on? Then the mother duck tried one more egg. What a large egg. I've never seen that. It's not like the others. It's rounder and fat. Let me see that egg that won't break. You can be sure it's a turkey's egg. I was told about that one so the trouble and bother I had with those youngsters because they were actually afraid of the water. Couldn't get them to go in. I cracked with them and I snapped at them, but it was no use. Let me see the egg. Of course it's a turkey's egg. Leave it alone and teach the others to swim. The mother duck sat on the last egg anyway until it hatched. Crack, crack. Out came the mother duck. Look at that, Mama. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ducks made a song. That, that big ugly bird can't be one of us. He's sad and not yellow like us. He does look quite different, but I do not mind. He is your own brother, and you must be kind. Could he possibly be a turkey chick? One day, the mother duck was all fixed for duckling for a swim. Each duck jumped into the water and splashed. You're not a duck, oh, that's a bit clip. I'm trying to try duckling. Why, just look at him. To everyone's surprise, the ugly duckling swam faster than all of his brothers and sisters. Duckling, come walk now with me. Let's visit the farmyard. There's so much to see. Five ducklings wanted up and followed their mother. The three ducklings walked at the end of the line. Before long, they came to a chicken coop. Whoa! I see five fuzzy chicks around the fence. But what is that creature who walks at the end? The ugly duckling hung his head. The turtle sighed and happy. Just then, a cat came along. Meow, what a fright you gave me. You're the ugliest duck that can be. <laughs> then, sad and shame, the ugly duckling hid behind the group of leaves. <laughs> His family walked on without noticing. I am not as sweet as they are, I know. I cannot stay with them, but where will I go? The ugly duckling settled on his own. By and by, he came to a larger pond where wild ducks live. Quack, you are ugly. You cannot live here. You will scare all the fishes the way I fear. The ugly duckling walked on. Yet, to the east of the garden pond, he found a place to sleep. There he stayed for the rest of the spring, summer, and fall. He hid among the weeds, coming out only at night when no one could see him. Fall turns to winter now. The days are cold and gray. All they hear, all I hear is till spring comes, then I'll swim away. And so winter passed in this way. As the snow fell on the winds grew bitter cold, the poor ugly duckling grew more sad and lonely than ever. Then one day spring arrived. With it came across a beautiful swan swimming in the sun.
Christian protest created in 1844 by Hans Christian Andersen. The themes teach us some very important lessons. To speak and act with kindness, respect differences in others, uh, show compassion. I'll have your script on the other side. For others. Show compassion for others.